Hello and welcome to Indu Fishing. Um, we're here today and we're heading out to target some grunner out near some uh, rocky bottom and that sort of stuff. A bit of structure. And um, today we'll be using some um, plastics, soft plastics, as well as a combination of blades. Um, so hopefully we'll get onto a few fish. Uh, hopefully some figure mark as well, every now and then. But um, we'll see how it goes. Exactly. Well, that's sort of bait. You got a few fish that just went off the sound of them, the stream then. But um, that's a bait sitting on a rock there. I'm Ethan Farrell, by the way, and this is my um, co-host here, Stephen Farrell. And um, he'll probably be doing most of the video on today, I'd say. What I'm using here is a soft plastic uh, with a uh, 3 8 ounce stick head. And, um, hopefully, there's going to be a grunt around here that's going to like the look of that. Now, um, while the old man's using a plastic, I'm using a blade here, a swish blade from TT, and um, just rigged it with some heavier trebles to make it sink faster and hopefully hook up a bit better. And um, I think it'll go well in this dirty water because it, it vibrates as well as looks realistic so um, the fish should be able to hear it in the dirty water rather than just relying on seeing it. Now it's quite a simple retrieve with this one, it's just um, pretty much hopping it off the bottom, let it sink to the bottom and after it hits the bottom pop it again. Okay, we're back here in spot number two. Um, Ethan lost quite a large fish. Um, I'm suggesting finger mark at the other spot. Um, I'm just applying a little bit of S factor to this uh, soft plastic just to try and entice the fish to bite. And, uh, that should work quite nicely. The first secret spot didn't work that well. I think it was too secret. Fish didn't even know about it. Ethan's on a nice fish. Not a nice one. Oh. Little grinner. Little, Little grinner on the blade. Little Good bait apparently. Just in there. Sharp teeth on it. We'll let him go, we don't need him. Certainly not. Okay, Ethan's on to a nice fish here. Let's have a look. Drag, I've just lifted him up. Loose off the drag a little bit. You're going to have to grab the dog. Ah, here's one I can certainly do that. He's on to a nice little fish here. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Wait about it. A bit of drag there. Loosen off the drag a little bit, loosen off a little bit more because we've already hooked him up. Got him away from the snags just in case it's a nice finger mark. You come with the dial now. Okay, I might just come over here with the dial now. And here he come, nice grunter. Nice grunter. Oh, I think so anyway. It's silver. 
Oh, oh beautiful grunt. Yeah, that's a nice grunt. Oh, that's a nice grunt. Lift him in. There you go. Look at that. Let's drop him down there, mate. Come on, mate. Nicely out of the sector. Nicely done. Nicely done, young fella. Thank you. And we can hear him grunting away there. Tangled up in the net. Oh, that's our Enviro net. Giving you a bit of curry there, the young fella. There we go, that's a nice scratcher. just tap it and then you let them go for a bit just so they get it down their mouth and then um, give them a good strike hook them up solid hook up and um, that's them you can leave them run because they go they don't go for the snags like other species like finger mark and trout um, so you can let them run all they like and um, they shouldn't go for the snags anyway um, and that's pretty much what I did and that's it beautiful so we'll let him go now beautiful fish Leave him in the water for a bit, get some drills of water on him. Oh, we're going to take some photos first, the camera. Okay? Oh, we'll let him go. Now your turn. My turn. 